you've heard her, right? You've repeated it, right? Now, after you repeat it, you start to eat the waffle. If she's satisfied, don't say anything else. And it's you and me, babe, whatever comes. No in bigger hands are holding us. And the greatest days are ahead of us. Growing in love, Growing in love. learning to be a better us. Hi there. Welcome to A Better Us and welcome to our home. Mm -hmm. Today we'll hear from two of our favorite marriage teachers, Bill and Pam Farrell, authors of the best-selling Men Are Like Waffles, Women Are Like Spaghetti. You know, the, the compartmentalized thinking versus yes. the multitask mm -hmm. thinking. Well, they're going to talk to us about how men and women relieve stress differently. Mm -hmm. And it has mm -hmm. everything to do with those delectable differences mm -hmm. as well. Okay, have you ever found that your children, those little munchkins that you love with your life, have a tendency to drain the energy right out yeah. of you and even out of your marriage? Well, conference speaker and author Jay Payleitner is going to give us some practical ways we can keep that spark alive despite those darling distractions. Mm -hmm. And as usual, our kitchen couples have some ideas of their own. CFL football great Mike Pinball Clemens is here with his wife Diane. And recording artist Dan McCauley and his wife Danielle. So come on in and let's get started. We're so glad you're here. Stress is a reality in every couple's life. And it's a reality that men and women relieve stress differently. We do. So we know stress is coming your way. And, and just like communication, you have to take turns when it comes to relieving stress. So guys, when, when your wife feels stress in her life, what women tend to do is they talk things out. And this is not the casual conversation, kind of how are you doing? Can we just visit with one another? This is, this is very strategic conversation. And when stress hits a woman's life, it's like a great big meatball comes flying out of the sky and it lands on her plate of spaghetti with all the issues of life tied together and it sends noodles flying everywhere. everywhere. So she has to talk through all the issues involved to get all those noodles back on her plate and now she has to integrate the meatball. So she's going to ask questions like, what does it say about me? What does it say about you? Why did God make this happen or allow this to happen? How are we supposed to respond? And it might take her more than once traveling through that conversation to put things back in place in her life. And so men, when you see stress rising in your wife's life, set aside a little bit of extra time for her to process through all the issues involved. And ladies, what you can do to help out in this situation <laughs> is to develop some really good girlfriends. Yeah, because we'll need to talk things out more than our husband Probably. is able to listen, <laughs> likely, yeah. So when we are stressed, we women do talk mm -hmm. uh, our, through our stress. It's like when I'm stressed out, my mom knows it, my sister knows it, my best friend knows it, my prayer partner knows it, the clerk at the grocery store will know when I'm stressed <laughs> out because we like to talk our way through our stress. And um, there's a couple things that we can do to help lower the stress, and one uh, in our family Mm -hmm. And one is to give some kind of a warning yep, that our stress up. level is rising. I was speaking at a large conference. It was about two hours away from mm -hmm. our home, and the conference ran late. And um, I called Bill, and I'm like, honey, the conference ran late, and we need to catch that last plane out to go to Canada to be on live TV tomorrow. So I need some help here. And Bill said, well, Pam, the good news is I love you. The bad news, I'm with our oldest son whose car has broken down and we're waiting for a tow truck. So you're probably going to beat me home and there's a couple things I need you to do for me before we get out the door. So I landed at our house. My stress level was through the roof. Our, my time was cut in half. Only one of our sons, who was then a teenager, was home. And I said to our son, Zach, okay, mom needs some help and this is what you need to do. I really left this long list to him, and I know better than that. I've raised three sons, and how you delegate to boys is you write one task on one square post-it note. You put the sticky notes on the TV, and you say you cannot turn on that TV till those post-it notes are accomplished. That's, That's how you delegate to boys, but I didn't do that. <laughs> I just this long old list, and I went to my room to do the first thing on the list, and I came across to get to my office, and Zach was doing his um, thing, but he wasn't moving very fast, and I'm like, what? I wanted to scream at him, but God reminded me, you know, watch your words. It's not his fault that you didn't have enough margin here. And I said, Zach, you know, mom and dad, we teach that. And men are like waffles, won't like spaghetti. Yes, ma'am. Okay, what happens when you put a bunch of pasta into a pan of boiling water? He's like, uh, 
pasta explosion? I'm like, that's right, that's what's gonna happen here. This pasta is ready to explode. And he said, oh, mom, why didn't you tell me? It was like a pasta princess moment. Mm. And so that became the code <laughs> word. When I was stressed out, all I had to do is walk in and say, pasta princess is home. And Bill and the boys knew, okay, mom's stressed out and Bill has taught the boys the only thing safe to say to a stressed out mom uh, is, is what, may I do, what can I do to help you, ma'am? Ma'am, that's yeah. right. And men process stress. The most important thing is to know that men process stress very differently. Right. How guys process stress is they like to go to their favorite easy box to rest and recharge. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it, like, it looks like they're not doing anything. It looks like a battery sitting in a battery recharger. If you look at that battery in the recharger, it looks like it's doing nothing, but it's doing something. It's recharging for its next go round in life. Right. So you might walk in and, uh, you know, there's stress in the family and you're like, what? You're watching TV, doing nothing, but he's doing something. He's recharging. Hmm. And so the gift that you, that you can give is to know what some of these favorite recharger boxes might be of your husband. Hmm. And most of them are shaped like boxes when you think about it. The TV screen shaped like a box, mm -hmm. the computer screen shaped like a box, a basketball court, a football field, a refrigerator. Uh, refrigerator, the hockey mm -hmm. goal, the pool table, um, the bed is shaped like a box. In mm -hmm. fact, that bed box, that intimate box is like the free square in the middle of a bingo card and a man can get there from every other square on his waffle. Bingo. And lowering stress in each other's life really is an act of service, which is why Galatians 5.13 says, serve one another in love. As you lower the stress in each other's life, doesn't necessarily lower it in your life, but if you take turns lowering stress, you put stress at a level that helps you be your best. And then you can fall in love even with the stress. Okay, Bill and Pam Farrell, uh, of course, their book, Men Are Like Waffles, Women Are Like Spaghetti, and they, mm -hmm. they tend to bring that analogy into the different areas of their teaching. And, and stress is a good one because yeah. men and women, women are different how they relieve stress. Absolutely, yeah. and I love that when Pam said, you know what, sometimes, or maybe it was Bill, sometimes a woman needs to talk things out, and yeah. if your husband really doesn't talk much, find your girlfriend, yeah. and just talk it out with her, because that would be a good stress reliever for her, mm -hmm. and trying to talk it out with him might be a stress inducer exactly. for him. <laughs> for me too, yeah. for you and for me, yeah. because for you hear me trying to listen, but anyway. <laughs> But I try, I try. Do. I've gotten you a do. little bit better, but you know. No, you've gotten a lot better, but how about you guys? Do you find that that's what you need to do? Well, I, I've, uh, I've got a little formula for guys because I've messed this up enough times, <laughs> right? So, so, so first, first, you have to plate the spaghetti, uh. right? So the plate, plate the spaghetti means this. As you sit down to talk, you have to continually say anything else, honey, mm. right? And, and as you do that, so as she goes through one thing, Anything else, honey? Because because there are a lot of things there, a lot lot of spaghetti there. So you Here, you got to run a and, and, <laughs> Anything else, and, honey? And, okay. and after that, when, when there's nothing else, when there's the pause and there's nothing else, right? After you plate it, you have to eat it, <laughs> right? How do you eat the spaghetti? You repeat the spaghetti. You repeat what she told you, right? Mm. And then then after that, you can enjoy the waffle. And now, 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 now and, and this is this. So when we enjoy the waffle, this is what this means. So, so, so you've, you've heard her, right? You've repeated it, right? Now, after you repeat it, you start to eat the waffle. If she's satisfied, don't say anything else, mm. right? Yeah. Because all she needed to do is go through it in her mind, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If she's still not satisfied, mm -hmm. then you have, the, you, you have the opportunity now to go back to your boxes. Mm -hmm. Right. Because you can put the challenges all in their box. Sometimes they don't want a solution. Right. So they've talked it out. They got it now. That's good. But now if they're still worried about it, then we can do what we love. And that is put enjoy that waffle. Right. So you so you need to yeah, start eating. So don't say anything. Right. Because they may be good. But if they're not good, then then we can start to compartmentalize a little bit what we like to do. Is anybody else <laughs> hungry right now? Uh, hey, we're in the kitchen. Apple. Uh, but that, that uh, you know, saying back, you know, what, what, what you believe yeah. you heard, I think, because I, Anne, I, I know it's important to her that I get it. Like yeah, she, yeah. she says something to me mm -hmm. and, and she wants to know that I, I get it, that yeah. I understand, you yeah. know, her point of view, that's where that. she's coming from. Mm -hmm. And that's a big part in her, uh, I guess, relieving your, your yeah. stress that I understand yeah. and I empathize mm -hmm. in, a, in a sense of what, what's happening. So 
I'll, I'll keep working on that, and I can get the notes from Mike Pinball Clemens. A lot of times we just want to be heard. Like, we just, uh, for me, just hear me. Just, you know, you don't have to give me a long speech after or say anything. Just let me get everything out. Yeah. And once I get it out, I'm like, whew. Okay, I'm good. I get it. I'm good now. I, I can move on. I thought Bill's analogy of the battery sitting there mm -hmm. recharging, it looks like it's not doing anything, mm -hmm. but it is. Mm -hmm. And I thought, yeah, I guess I kind of am like that sometimes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Your little box is the movie screen. He mm -hmm. loves going to the movies, and mm -hmm. I just let him go. Usually after working for many days in a row, being tra traveling on the road, the first thing he wants to do is that. And I confess, I like watching a good Hallmark movie now and again. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. life has enough stress. <laughs> life has enough stress of its own. It's wrapped yes. up in a nice pretty bow. We know it's going to happen. And of course, the spa would be a lovely box mm. to find yeah. myself into. But, <laughs> yeah. but we have enough stress going on in our own lives. Yeah. We need to be a safe place. And we need to encourage one another. Yeah, yeah and, and God tells us to be anxious for nothing, mm -hmm. right? We have to remember that, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. be anxious for nothing, you know, yes. because he will take care of all of our needs. Yeah. That's and right. And we need to trust him. That's it. And that promise ends with, and the peace of God that passes all yeah. understanding right. will guard your hearts and minds. Talk yeah. about stress That's relievers right. yeah. that can come That's from above. Right. Now, sometimes, though, in life, you go, you have a stressful situation just hit you like a ton of bricks where you didn't see it coming, and all of a sudden you're just feeling the stress. Right. And if you're feeling the stress together, you know, you might, like Bill and Pam were saying, you might need to process that differently, mm -hmm. but you need to come together at the end and, and process it together. We went through a really, really stressful season uh, a number of years ago. And I remember an older, wiser mm -hmm. friend of mine said to me, to help your husband get through that, you need to be intimate with him. Mm -hmm. as often as he needs it because mm -hmm. it helps him to relieve yeah. that stress. It helps him work it out and walk it out. Do we hear an amen <laughs> there? It's the bed box. The bed box. The, bed box. the bingo you square. Know, you notice all the men are yes. saying, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I knew it was an amen corner from either side wow, here. Yeah. <laughs> we want to share one another's burdens. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So there is something to be said for that yeah. bed box too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's, it's for both of you. It's not just yeah. for him. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we relieve stress, stress differently. Okay, I think we get that. Yes. Yes. And uh, yes. good to hear from uh, Bill and Pam on that. Yeah. And so stay with us, and we've got more to come. I think we're going to be back in the kitchen here again right. very soon. No matter how busy your schedules are, always, always, mm -hmm. always find time for just the two of you. Because mm -hmm. if the two of you aren't good, then the whole house is going to be a mess. Hey friends, Ron and Ann here. We're so glad you're with us at A Better Us and we pray your marriage is blessed as you take this in. Be sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and enjoy this video. Hi, this is Jay Payleitner, author of a bunch of books, conference speaker and devoted husband and father. We're opening a few chapters in my new book, 52 Ways to Connect as a Couple. One of the more valuable chapters, I think, might be that couples need to connect despite the kids. One of the oldest jokes in the world is how kids put a halt to romance. And believe me, I, I get the joke. Uh, you're tired, you're distracted, and all your extra cash is already going for disposable diapers and field trips and piano lessons and braces and college funds. Uh, the little darlings are worth every nickel, but a weekend getaway to Jamaica is not in the budget. So, how can you connect on a regular basis without adding even more stress to the bank account or the calendar? Meet for lunch. Maybe you don't think of lunch as a date, but it can be. Or, take a day off during the school year. If all your kids are in school, Schedule a vacation day for just the two of you on a weekday. It really is okay to take a vacation day without the kids. Drop the kids off at church. Now, lots of churches schedule activities for kids on Wednesday nights. The two of you can drop the kids off and then continue down the road for two kid-free hours. Just remember to pick them up. 
How about this? Moms, catch a catnap. If uh, moms are too tired for romance on most nights, then she should try to squeeze in an early evening nap. Do it right after supper. The kids won't even miss you. Do the Disney distraction. Bring home a pizza and pop in a kid-friendly movie. Suddenly, mom and dad have a full 90 minutes to yourself. Watch your friend's kids. Then next week, let them watch your kids. Here's one. Hire a babysitter. But instead of you guys going out, pay for the sitter to take the kids out to a movie. You're home alone. Wouldn't that be nice? And finally, of course, call grandma. Tell her you need some quality time as a couple, and she will laugh, and she will be delighted to help. Kids should bring you closer, but you need time with just the two of you to be the kind of parents that God is calling you to be. So be creative, steal moments when you can, and keep saving for that weekend jaunt to Jamaica. Okay, good stuff from Jay Paylight there. Probably ringing some bells with some parents out there thinking, some ideas there, write them down. Yeah. And uh, so we're here in the kitchen again with our kitchen couples, Mike and Diane and Dan and Danielle. And, uh, you know, when you think about it, kids are a temporary assignment, That's right? right? Mm-hmm. You know, the, when you our, our first was born, <laughs> uh, what'd you say? I see you hope. <laughs> you hope, you hope. Yeah. But, That's when, the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> they're, well, they're supposed to leave when they're maybe 19, 20, 21, 38, whenever yeah, they leave the... Whenever but, it is, they're gone. But the, uh, the doctor, when our first was born, yeah. you know, handed me little baby Andrea, and then... 24, 24 years, years later. I handed her off to someone else. Yeah. Right. And then... Uh, you know, so it is a temporary assignment. You've got to realize it. But a lot of couples, they come to the, the empty nest syndrome mm-hmm. and they look at each other and say, There's, we really haven't invested. We haven't really built this relationship. They're barely friends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing really left there. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, unfortunately, that's when many divorce. Mm-hmm. So if we think and, and take some of Jay's ideas, yeah. uh, invest in yourself despite the kids, he yeah. says. To connect with each other in the midst of the, I mean, you both have busy, busy households mm-hmm. with children. Yeah. So did some of this uh, ring true for you? Absolutely. Oh, I like this we, We've done a bunch of those. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, it's been a new revelation just in the past year when, uh, when our youngest went to kindergarten, so he's gone to school the whole day. We both work from home mm-hmm. in various, on various projects and whatever and so we realized oh, we could do a day date we can mm-hmm. go out to lunch together and mm-hmm. so uh, we we've done that mm-hmm. it's been good yeah okay you could write the book you guys mm-hmm. oh <laughs> we we get creative with our ideas actually last summer my in-laws shout out to ray and peggy they took our boys for two nights three days and we did just like he said we just stayed at our own house mm-hmm. and did nothing That's without the, the kids best. relaxed yeah. binge watched a show we went on two date went nights to the drive-in. we went to the we drive we haven't been able to do never do that yep. with the wow. boys awesome. and it was so awesome i think we should keep that tradition yes. going don't yeah. we yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good habit to continue yeah, yeah. you yeah. know i think if you can do it for young couples please your aspiration mm. is to have a consistent schedule yeah. mm. right if you can have a, a consistent schedule where your kids go down and, and that didn't happen in our house yeah. right mm. but 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 yeah. but if you can have that you can set that consistent we, we we have friends who have that consistent schedule right and it gives them that extra time but but if not just you know come up with a you few ideas it. yeah, yeah just it. just yeah, like we were it. offered just now yeah. and um you know as as he looked he, he gave you a few op, uh, sort of options for connecting but we can even sort of use our imagination a little bit more uh mm-hmm. you know about how what that connection looks like you know about sending letters through the mail mm. yeah. right written letters right yeah. and, and uh, so so we have an opportunity to just kind of use your imagination mm-hmm. uh, try to swoon your sig- significant mm-hmm. other again yeah. try try to edify them to build mm-hmm. them up to to please them to and, and it doesn't you know, take money is th- those things we spend things. time yeah. with yeah. Yeah. Are, the, are really things that that work really well and yeah. they mean a lot they the do. little yeah. things yeah. mean a lot great at that he's I, I i must say that he's he's great at always being um romantic and, and thinking about the little things to do for me to make me feel special mm-hmm. and you know to 
to get away, if, like he said, even if it's for a few hours or Press a day record. Record or right anything like that, <laughs> <laughs> anything like that, it's like it, it's so important to find that time mm -hmm. for just you as a couple. And we tell a lot of young couples that now it's no matter how busy your schedules are, always, always, mm -hmm. always find time for just the two of you. Because yeah. if the two of you aren't good, then the whole house is gonna be a mess, yeah. right? right? Yeah. But if you find that time for the yeah. two of you, then it helps with everything else. Mm -hmm. And just on that note, couples who are in our stage, <clears throat> where our kids are gone, we have adult mm -hmm. children now, um, maybe you can call up a young couple that have young children and say, how about you guys plan a date for Friday night? We're coming over and we're going to take care of your kids for you. Yeah. Free of charge. Yeah. We're not going to charge you. This is just yeah. our Sold. gift to you. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking over here, oh, not over here. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that's a great idea, especially for those of us who have grandkids yeah. that live a long yeah. ways yeah. away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can get our fix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you know, our... Uh, Camera guy, a quirky one right over here in the corner. He, he was just saying after watching that segment, he said, you know what, we implemented, my wife and I implemented some of those ideas and it just resulted in more kids. <laughs> and so. so Greg forgot it, he forgot it. We told him we were gonna put that in there. Yeah. So, but you know, it's a great idea. Yeah. It's a great idea. Yeah. And resist the urge to, as women especially, with younger children, to mm. put your children ahead of yeah. your spouse, yeah. ahead of your marriage. Resist the urge to do mm. that. And just remember all over again, you know what? My priorities really are God, mm -hmm. my husband, mm -hmm. and then my yeah. children. And it's funny you say that because remember when we first got counseled yes. before we got married right. and the pastor was asking, he said, so if you were um, on a boat, and oh. Oh, if you were right. on a boat, yeah. who, would you, who would you save and who would you toss, <laughs> right? And of course, I was like, oh, my kids, right? I'm saving my kids first, right? And Michael was like, saving my wife first, oh, right? Wow. So it's, it's that way of thinking, yeah. right? It's mm -hmm. yeah. how men think and how women think. Mm -hmm. So I found that pretty because interesting. Because if you save your husband first, together you can save your kids. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so he didn't actually use the 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 uh, situation where somebody dies. He just said, who goes first? Yeah, so so who would be first for you? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. so, yes, yeah, so for me, it was her, and yeah. for her, yeah. it was the kids. That's just and the moms with You know what? And yeah. the kids see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they see, okay, they're the most important in each other's lives, and whether or not they, yeah. they understand it, they uh, it's security for them. Yeah, they, right. they, they realize that, yeah. that, that way, that's an important watching, relationship. I, I, I changed my answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they might not like seeing you walk out the door, but eventually they know, they like knowing that mom and dad are going yeah. out on a date exactly. night, yeah. and that's comforting to them. And one day they'll go, I want that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, great example. Yeah. Great yeah. example. So in the busynesses of, of it all, you just you you just may not have time for it, mm -hmm. right? But the greater reality is you don't have time not to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's too so, important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good stuff, guys. Yeah. Well, we had some good conversations in this program. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, but we're not finished with the program yet, so come back. We all want to become a better us, so how about learning from mm -hmm. the best? We have some great resources from yeah. top marriage experts at our online store, like this book by Bill and Pam Farrell, Men Are Like Waffles, <laughs> Women Are Like Spaghetti. Our differences can be a major cause of conflict, but what if we could clearly understand why we're wired a certain way and mm -hmm. learn to appreciate our differences? This book has helped thousands of couples, mm -hmm. and now it's your turn. To order your copy, visit abetterus.tv. pre-marriage counseling and we do a lot of it we wrote yes. a book called saving your marriage before it starts and so one of the things we're always interested in are the two people bringing their social worlds mm -hmm. together because you don't just marry a person you marry a set of circumstances right. around that person part of that is their social world and we know how powerful it is that a couple has social support that's shared right and having said that it's also a great thing when each of the individuals in a relationship cultivate friendships of their own that Absolutely. offer added support and for us that means a small group you have a small group how long have you been meeting yeah with them? i mean we call 
call we started calling ourselves the friday friends but these are my soul sisters it's a small group of women we've been meeting for 15 years now and we really do empower each other to be good wives right. actually and good moms and good friends and disciples and i'm in a group with seven other guys we call it the five percent club because it's devoted to talking about the five percent of our life that we yeah. don't necessarily broadcast to everybody else and we meet every other tuesday for two hours and uh there's something about having mm. those kinds of relationships that uh, even though they're not shared, they add value to our relationship right. as well, right? And they're not kept separate. We're good friends with the yeah. couples of each group, even though there's Christmas not- Christmas parties exactly. and all the rest together. And but... that adds to our shared support, but it is really vital that you don't try to get every need you have emotionally right. met in one person. It's too much for someone it's too much to bear. too much pressure on yes. them. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, if you're thinking, oh, we don't want to have any social circles that are separate from each other, I don't know if that's the best uh, course. Right. I think it'd be a strength for your marriage that you both have solid friendships. Hi, we hope you're enjoying the show. You know, our vision at A Better Rest is to see every marriage become a loving union that creates a safe family haven, building a legacy of hope for future generations. Yeah. That's why we feel it's so important to invest in marriage relationships through producing a new episode of A Better Us every week. Absolutely. If you feel as we do that marriages are worth investing in, then please consider joining us as a member of A Better Us with a monthly donation of $25. You'll be making a big difference in lives and families and we'll send you two of our special mugs the mugs that you see our kitchen couples using each program absolutely and be sure to send us your mug shot selfie yeah. and we'll post it on our Facebook page and on our website simply visit a better TV and click donate to set up your automatic monthly giving God bless you and thank you so much for making this program possible and helping us strengthen marriages so we can all become a better us So glad you joined us today as we've chatted about a couple of different topics. Mm -hmm. Those tips about connecting as a couple are so important to remember because eventually when your nest is empty, mm -hmm. you find that you've built not only a family, but a future with your best friend. That's right. It's not a bad idea to remind ourselves of what our relationship priorities should be. God, then our spouse, and then our kids. We also talked about something everyone deals with, stress. Mm -hmm. How do we handle it? Do we handle it? Or do we let it build up until we explode on mm -hmm. the closest person to us, who is usually our spouse? That's right. As you said, stress is a reality for all of us. And to have a healthy way to process it is beneficial not only to us, but to everyone around mm -hmm. us. But the most important thing to remember is that a relationship with God is our best stress reliever. That's right. There's a verse in the Bible that says, God will keep you in perfect peace when you keep your mind on Him and learn to trust Him. And when you do trust Him and place your life in His hands, even when you feel shaken, you know you can have that peace mm -hmm. knowing you're, you're right there and He's in control. That's right. The Bible calls it a piece that's beyond our understanding because mm -hmm. it doesn't even make sense on a human level. Mm -hmm. If you need someone to talk to, someone who can pray for you, call our prayer line. We'd love to connect you with Jesus, the only one who can give the lasting peace that you need. The phone number is on the screen. It's our prayer line. It's free, it's available 24 seven, and we also have some great resources available for you on our website at abetterus.tv, including a free weekly marriage moment email to help strengthen your marriage. Mm -hmm. Thanks again for stopping by. And remember, with God, there is always hope to become a better us. Hey friends, we really hope you're enjoying the marriage conversations here with A Better mm -hmm. Us on our YouTube channel. We have hundreds of more helpful marriage videos designed to give you hope and tools to make your marriage better. You can see just a few options we think you might like here mm -hmm. and here. Enjoy! Oh, and make sure you subscribe by clicking here so you don't miss out on all the great marriage help we have coming your way soon.